Brisket is traditionally eaten during Passover. If you don't have a family recipe, we can teach you how to do one in three steps or less. It all starts with the brisket, so speak to the chop right butcher and they can help you figure out how much brisket you need for your party. So let's dive right in. Brisket is all about the spices, so get it on there nice and good. We have a not so secret spice recipe, it has brown sugar, cumin, garlic, salt, pepper, a lot of smoked paprika, and it's just gonna have all of those flavors melt right in when we sear it. Don't forget to give it a little flip and get the next side. There's no such thing as too much seasoning. All of this seasoning is just gonna caramelize on top and it's time for step two, searing of the meat. We're gonna get a pan nice and hot and listen for that sizzle. Be very careful and gently press it down and you're gonna create a caramelization shell on both sides of the brisket. That's the color that you're looking for right there. After you got a nice, beautiful brown color on both sides, don't waste any of that excess spice. Dump it in there and it's time for step three, getting it into a pan and smothering it in all of that beautiful beef broth. When you dump in all of your beef broth, make sure that it comes up almost to covering the meat. Lastly, we have about four ounces of espresso Espresso or a really, really strong coffee will help tenderize the meat and add a lot of deep, deep flavor to your broth. When you're sealing up, you have to make an airtight seal. I like to use double layers of foil and press my fingers and hands all the way around. Make sure no air can get in or out. For this four pound piece of brisket, you're gonna wanna pop it in the oven for about three, three and a half hours at 350 degrees. Brisket's one of those things that when it's done, it's done. A good brisket is nice and soft. The base is like onion soup. Because you made sure that the container is nice and tight, all of the juices are locked in and it's just gonna give you a mouthful of flavor. This is the best part about the brisket. All the stuff at the bottom, the gravy, the carrots, the nice soft onions. I can't wait to make some onion soup out of this later. If you like what you taste, let us know if we did Bobby Proud. Follow us some more.